Welcome back viewers. The Boeing 737 MAX 8. I kind of thought I was done and waiting for the final accident report to find out what really happened. But the learning process of understanding or trying to understand what actually happened has been very interesting to me. And it's mainly down to you and the incredible comments that I've been getting. It's also the story that keeps on giving. So last night I received what I can only say was a piece of new inside information, new to me anyway, and I thought today it's worth sharing. It's a revised flight manual from Boeing. There's a quite natural tendency to believe that both the Max 8 crashes were due to something the pilots did or didn't do. But that is a gross oversimplification. What we need to look at is how the pilots were trained to fly this new aircraft. Ethiopian Airlines made a statement saying the Boeing 737 MAX full flight simulators are not designed to simulate the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. Boeing said it didn't originally recommend specific training on MCAS because it thought pilots would rarely see it active. On the 29th of October 2018, the Lion Air MAX 8 crashed. Boeing released this revised flight manual on the 1st of February 2019. A pitch augmentation system function called Maneuver Characteristics Augmentation System, MCAS, is implemented on the Boeing 737 MAX to enhance pitch characteristics with flaps up and elevated angles of attack. The MCAS function commands nose down stabilizer to enhance pitch characteristics during steep turns with elevated load factors and during flaps up flight at airspeeds approaching stall. MCAS is activated without pilot input and only operates in manual flaps up flight. The system is designed to allow the flight deck crew to use the control trim switch or stabilizer aisle stand cutout switches to override the MCAS input. The function is commanded by the flight controller computer using input data from sensors and other aircraft systems. The MCAS function becomes active when the aircraft angle of attack exceeds a threshold based on airspeed and altitude. Stabilizer incremental commands are limited to 2.5 degrees and are provided at a rate of 0 0.27 degrees per second. The magnitude of the stabilizer input is lower at high Mach numbers and greater at low Mach numbers. The function is reset once the angle of attack falls below the angle of attack threshold or if manual stabilizer commands are provided by the flight deck crew. If the original elevated angle of attack condition persists, the MCAS function commands another incremental stabilizer nose down command according to the current Mach number at actuation. In an email alongside this flight manual, the anonymous sender said this. When something goes wrong, you have to be willing to back down levels of automation, even down to the level of hand flying the plane on cable control and manual trim inputs. Fighting the plane and exclaiming, what's it doing now, will get you a fail in the simulator and killed in the air. If you're new to this channel and have just watched this film, 
it's very much a kind of update on the big story. I suggest you go back about four videos and watch me learning through the process of what has happened. And the thing about YouTube that I love is that it is not television, it's a forum for incredible discussion. And thank you for sending brilliant new and interesting information. I mean, information from ATP certified commercial jet pilots who fly 737s. I mean, where else in the media would you get this kind of feedback? So hopefully I'm offering you a forum to discuss this issue as well as I'm learning from you guys, you know, what happened. So remember, the truth is out there.